Hi everyone, welcome back to Course Creators H2, where we help experts, bloggers, coaches, and consultants create and market online courses. Now today, I wanna to talk to you guys about three questions you should be asking when deciding whether or not to use video in your online course. Now there are many different mediums that people use in their online courses to actually present their lessons to their students. Some people like to use video, some people like to use audio, some people like to use just PDFs that you read or do a combination of both and so it's really important to consider what medium you want to present that's gonna help you create your course quickly and benefit your students the most so the first question that you should ask is am I comfortable with being on camera now I personally believe that everyone can be on camera but I know it can be a little bit of a daunting task for some people I actually did a whole Facebook live about tips to improve your on-camera presence that you can check out I'll make sure to link it down down below but some people prefer to more be on camera versus being off camera and if you're doing video depending on what your course topic is more likely than not you might have to be on camera and so you need to figure out if that's something that you're comfortable with or if that's something that you're willing to kind of learn the second thing you should think about is does my topic need to be shown visually or is that the best way for my students to understand it if you're teaching a course about how to knit a sweater it's gonna make the most sense for you to have videos in there to see you knitting that sweater. If you're teaching a course about a computer program, you're probably gonna to wanna to have screen recordings in there actually showing how to use that computer program. But if you're creating a course about how to start a blog, not always, but typically bloggers are people who write a lot and people who like to write also tend to like to read. So maybe you wanna consider instead of creating videos that people have to watch when creating their blog, maybe you just type out some PDFs and that would fit them better. So you really wanna think about what is that medium that's really gonna benefit my students the most. The third thing to consider is how much time do I have to create the course? Now, on average, depending on your level of experience and what you're comfortable with, it's gonna take more time to create a video than to create a PDF. Now, I personally think there are a lot of great benefits to video, but you need to spend time to learn how to create them, to learn how to edit them or either hire an editor, and so much more if you don't already know that. And if you're having to create video and also maybe create workbooks to go along with your course, that's more time that you have to spend before you can actually get that course done and get it ready to sell. I don't think that's necessarily something that should hold you back, but if you're trying to get a course done right now, might be something you wanna think about. And when you're also thinking about your outline and the length of what that course is going to be. Now, let's say you wanna get your course done right now. Well, we actually have a solution for you. Go ahead and check out the description down below to learn more about our 24 hour course creator program. We will lay out for you step by step, hour by hour on how to complete your course in just 24 hours. It's gonna get you up, get that first course going so you can start setting and grow your online business. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you'll subscribe to this channel and tune in more to find out more about course creation and course marketing and I will see you all later.